All right, guys, thanks for jumping on Middle American Outdoors here. Hope you're gonna enjoy. We've got the uh, Bowhunter Box Club quarterly full draw box here today for Christmas. And I am pumped to jump into this box. <clears throat> if you guys haven't uh, checked out the videos before, the Bowhunter Box Club quarterly box is there, obviously their big box. It's 150 at this point. Uh, I believe there's some changes coming out uh, where they're gonna have the quarterly box is now also gonna be a monthly option. So they're gonna have the smaller original collection box as well as the uh, full draw box on a monthly basis. And I believe there's gonna be a package deal if you wanna get both because they're gonna contain different items. Um, this full draw box typically contains bigger items for the tree stand or bigger hunting items uh, for the bow hunters. The smaller box typically seems to contain smaller products like trialing different broadheads or scent eliminators or um, broadhead cages or just knives, different stuff like that. And just be watching their website. They should have information coming out on that guys. I think it's going to start maybe even in January. We'll see. Um, but anyway, let's jump into this box because I'm super excited here. <clears throat> so, obviously you can see the box is pretty uh, substantial in size here. So I'll jump in with this camera. It's not too dark. We'll see here. You can see. Quick peek, <laughs> a little bit of Christmas candy. That's good stuff. So, let's see if we can get, there we go. Boom, card. Love to see the card. The card shows intention in the products. And here is your card. You can see we've got four items this month. You said this was a $150 box and you have indicated $273 value. As you've seen with past Bowhunter Box Club videos, reveal videos, they uh, don't overinflate too often on their value here as far as what you go buy it for online. And I will try to show you those as we go. So I always start from the bottom and work the way up here. You have item number one. Love it when you see Hawk products in the box. Yeah. There you go. This is the Hawk Mega Extendable Tree Arm. This thing is a beast. Holy smokes. <laughs> I love these things. You can never have enough <clears throat> as you put up more tree stands and the more of these you have the less you have to take them down and move them from tree stand to tree stand. This here has got the nice screw into the tree. And if you've used Hawk products before, they self tap so well and so easy into the tree, but you have to do everything you can not to break that little tip off of there. If you break that little tip off of there, these things are next to impossible to put into a tree without a pre-tapped hole. Um, some of the things that I use, I actually carry a, just a step peg to start the holes and then you can still use them. But if you're not gonna carry something like that, you really need to make sure not to break that tip off. I try to hold on to these protectors and screw that back on, protect that tip when you're moving around in your bag. <clears throat> anyway, you're just going to screw this into the tree and then you've got this nice rest against the tree to support the weight. Um, I really like that kind of stuff. That seems to really help uh, keep it steady, not dip in on the tree. And you've got two hooks here. They're both rubber coated, you know, so you're not going to hear any clanging when you're putting your bow or your gun or crossbow, whatever it is on those. Um, they're kind of freely swinging. I think I'd rather them be a little more tight in there. There is some 
nuts right there. I bet you could find a way to tighten them down where they're not moving so loosely. <clears throat> but then you just, just like the extendable tree saws or anything else, can extend that out. That's probably good. Let's see what they say if they give us the distance. So they say it's a compact 12 inch in length, like so. Extends out to 25 and a half inches. Has a 15 pound weight capacity for, I mean, if you got a bow or something that weighs more than 15 pounds, you got problems probably. But 15 pound weight capacity and they call this thing a tree cam. So you tap in and then snug it up against the tree real hard, probably pound that down a little bit, snug it up real tight and then just pop it free. And you've got this accessory strap. And this could hang off there, hang your rattles or whatever you got that you need the extra hooks. And it's not out on the end adding to the weight there so you know, overall that's a pretty awesome item it's not very heavy it's hollow but i don't want to spend all day on one item so let me move on we'll leave that right up front here as far as that hawk extendable they have it listed at 28 dollars, and they say hawk has taken their most popular tree arm and made it stronger and more versatile the Mega Extendable is only 12 inches when collapsed, but extends up to 25 and a half inches for that longer reach and weapon placement in the tree. Made of aircraft grade aluminum for lightweight portability and includes the exclusive anti-spin tree cam. That tree cam there. For rock solid performance. Dual silent grip rotating hooks are great for hanging your bow or extra gear by your side. Sharp auger tip threads easily screw into any hardwood and that's no joke. Like I said, just don't break that little tip off otherwise it's impossible. So they have that listed at a $28 value. I'm gonna guess that's pretty accurate. Here is the cost online, probably from Amazon if I could find it there. And here's our running total. Item number two, looks like a nice flashlight here. <laughs> Gotta get this amazing item out of the way that we're gonna get to eventually. <laughs> there you go, bam. This is the Cyclops 600 lumen compact flashlight. They describe this as the Cyclops TF600 flashlight has four modes, 100%, 20%, SOS, and off. It, <laughs> that's a great mode to include off. It has a burn time to up to nine hours and reaches 1,312 feet in distance. So that's what, 400 yards? This flashlight also has a durable and notized aluminum alloy housing to keep it protected. <clears throat> it seems like a really nice flashlight. Um, it's powered by six AA batteries included. Bring you in on this cam, get a closer look at it. I mean, Cyclops makes pretty nice lights. We have a couple of those headlights from different boxes this year that are pretty decent. Um, I would say I'm not likely to use this in bow hunting because it is um, heavier than most of my gear, honestly. I don't have a scale here, but that's probably at least, I would guess 18 to 20 ounces, a little more than a pound, pound and a quarter or so. And, you know, we have a lot of great headlights, especially like the hybrid, NAV light that we got through Boner Box Club box a few months ago that is plenty powerful for sneaking in and out of the woods. And I do carry a tactical flashlight. And I was just looking real quick to see if I had another one sitting around here. Um, you know, they sell some real nice ones online that are super cheap and uh, super light and have great light. But 
this is a nice flashlight man it's just you know a little weighty if you're a mobile public land bow hunter like i tend to be you're trying to cut weight every place else why would you carry around a heavy flashlight but i will keep this definitely for camping and other adventures because it looks like a high quality light for sure they have that listed at a 40 dollar value here is the amazon or internet pricing and here's our running total so item number three this is not something that i've ever looked at before so i'm pretty interested this shows you where the box got its length from boom oh wait boom <laughs> this is the muddy v tree stand canopy show you a picture of that guy right there so let's see let me just read what they say here on it muddy tree canopy features supreme stability and strong winds ideal coverage to keep out of the elements fast and easy installation with camouflage underside for natural appearance see if it gives specs on size um, talks about supreme stability and strong winds ideal coverage to keep out of the elements fast and easy insulation camouflage underside there you can see guy looks awfully comfortable and there you go 46 inches wide and 60 inches long that is large folds up to 27 and a quarter inch for transport as you can see it obviously fits in this box so um turn the t-screw into the tree pop up umbrella and insert a silver so you got your t-screw and then your umbrella is going to stick into the t-screw and then I'm sure the umbrella has latch straps. Yep. Secure the buckles around the tree. <laughs> That's unique. I mean, this is why you do these box club things. You get exposed to different items. Um, again, I just had mentioned that I do so much public land mobile hunting. I'm working on upgrading to um, upgrading to saddle hopefully during the off season start of next year and get practice with it during the summer uh, i've got <clears throat> bee sticks in route some month or year who knows with those things but when they finally get here i've got a bunch of amp steel blue that i'm going to do rope mods on and i'm just going all out on cutting down weight and bulk of items in order to be way more mobile um, I'm pretty mobile right now, but I really wear myself out on some of those public lands. Um, so something like this, you know, I might throw it up on a pro on a tree stand somewhere um, and give it a shot. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm going to sit on it for now. This might be something that I try to recoup a little cost in case there's somebody else that really loves it. You know, if they have more permanent tree stands or I don't know, who knows? Maybe I'll still have it next year and there'll be some crazy rainy day that I think the moon and everything's just perfect and I just got to get out there and here's my answer. So <clears throat> it's a cool item though. They have that listed at a $45 value. You can get it online here. And here is your running total. So we're down to item number four. This is the last and final item. This is the big ticket item. This is the item that has a higher value than the entire box itself. This is why I love Bowhunter Box Club. Jason and them guys do a great job of getting you the value you should get with a box like this. And I'm excited that they're gonna be doing it on a monthly basis. Like I can't imagine the kind of stuff they're gonna be rolling out. Um, for my brother that's watching, you might like this man <laughs> this might be what you're looking for you have to let me know this is the am 
Muddy LR650X rangefinder. Definitely don't need to get past 650 for a bow hunter. <laughs> <laughs> for most rifle hunting or anything. It says 650, they usually say rule of thumb. Let's say they're accurate to half the distance listed, so 325. Um, only reason you're getting out past that is if you're target shooting most likely, um, unless you're some of those sniper hunters, which in my opinion, not fun. <laughs> Bow hunters were at 20 yards, so I just, shooting something at 400 yards just doesn't feel like my cup of tea those that do it more power to you but back on point we're talking about this muddy rangefinder i have not seen how quality these are i'll have to be checking out some uh, other youtuber reviews um honestly i'm fortunate enough that i have a um, vortex ranger 1800 so <laughs> i mean you're not gonna top that, in my opinion, for a rangefinder. And so, no matter what you're doing, um, so I'm probably not gonna be using this. Um, I might get it out and just check the quality, maybe do a little review on it and then sell it off. Or, you know, like I said, Jake, you see this? Let me know, huh? It's an upgrade, but Great item, thanks. And great job the Bow Hunter Box Club guys. You know, this thing, I should probably read to you what it says here. It says 650 yard range, 6X magnification, IP54 waterproof, feature scan mode, angle measurement and compensation, battery indicator, lanyard and carrying case. Love the arc and angle technologies in these things. Um, for those that aren't super familiar with it, um, that are a new hunter like I was at one point and you're learning this stuff, the arc, so you're looking at, you know, you're, let's say you're 20 feet up in a tree and on ground level, that deer is at 30 yards from the base of the tree. You're 20 feet up, you do your little triangle, you know, <laughs> geometry or whatever the heck it was to figure out the length of that C squared. <laughs> you know, we're not gonna be able to do that at a tree. I'm definitely not doing that at a tree. But, you know, you got 30 yards out, you got seven yards up. How long is that C side? And that's what this figures out is not just looking at, you know, a normal rangefinder is going to give you that C, but you're not really shooting that far. You know, that C is a lot longer than ground level. So, you know, it could overestimate the distance. So the arc technology figures in that angle and then adjusts for what yardage pin you should use in order to hit your target based on your height and the distance away. Just really sweet technology. Um, most range rangefinders are starting to have it now. Uh, the first time I saw it was in the uh, Bushnell Scout that I have up there that I really liked um, before I upgraded to the Vortex Ranger. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to get this out, but you can see the item there. It's just quality quality muddy makes great stuff i'm certain that's going to be a quality item they have it listed at 160 here's what you can find it for online and there's our running total i don't have the figures in front of me but i'm certain it's more than uh the 150 i paid for this box i'm certain it's probably pretty close to that 273 as those guys are pretty straight with their figures um this is awesome if you guys don't get pumped about stuff like this, then you're just missing the fun. The Boner Box Club guys just do such a great job. I really hope you guys will consider checking them out. Give them at least one shot. Um, get to meet the guys that run the company. Get to know the customer service they have. You will not see it anywhere else. Not just in subscription boxes. You will not see it almost anywhere you go for retail or anything. These guys are phenomenal. And I just hope that you'll give them a shot. Be looking for their um, new packages coming out, their new deals. Just give it one shot and I guarantee you'll be hooked. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for checking into this channel. Like I said before, this channel is all about introducing um, new hunters to the game, seeing what I'm learning. I'm a non-traditional hunter. I'm 34 years old and I'm six or seven years in now. And pretty much been learning on my own just by 
watching videos of other YouTubers along the way, reading articles, doing this, doing that, practicing a lot, screwing up in the field a lot. You know, speaking of, pop up top and check out the huge miss, a uh, giant 10 pointer I call huge, and that video is probably finally released up here. Just see what I go through as far as learning. You know, I've been thankful to have enough, some success, and I just really, really love bow hunting. So I hope that you get that out of this channel. I hope that you get to see some products. I'm going to be doing more reviews during the off season. I'll do some DIY videos, especially on like how I'm going to do my am steel rope mods and um, some other projects that I've been working on. Um, I like to tinker and build things. So I'll show you some of my DIY and things I've done that. Uh, make hunting easier and even more enjoyable for me. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, click for the notifications, and uh, leave comments. You know, tell us what you think, tell us your experience with these equipment, um, what you think of Bowhunter Box Club, what you think of the channel, what you think about anything. Just uh, join in, help grow this community, and I really appreciate your support. Thanks, guys.